partner to another different angle to do with the political environment and the political temperatures this time around coming in from religious leaders who've called on politicians to reconsider their demands on the independent electoral and boundaries commission ahead of the fresh presidential election now the national council of churches of kenya has urged both the jubilee party and the national super alliance to drop their hardline stance on the poll management and cck says it will be greatly responsible to the two parties to push the country to a tragic scenario for the benefit of political actors that is what they had to say that was yesterday and i'm glad that uh, this morning i have nelson uh, makanda who's a deputy general secretary of the ncck thank you very much uh, Dr. for joining us here on the show Koribu. first things first um i mean you have come in all right so before we get to the conversation i understand that uh, we have a bite let's just listen to that well, the Bible says, uh, come now, let us reason together. So dialogue is a standing uh, commitment of the church and an encouragement to people where there are disputes. But three weeks to the elections, I think the church would like to see energies focused towards the elections. IBC, as the election manager, is within its constitutional mandate to remain in conversation with NASA and Jubilee all right, so that was yesterday, and like I mentioned, I'm happy that uh, the Deputy General Secretary is here, uh, Nelson Makanda. Thank you for your time again. So, you know, even just going by the conversation I was having before yeah, you came in, uh, on set, I was having two leaders drawn from Jubilee and NASA, and you can tell that indeed there is a problem, that, mm -hmm. you know, these two groups of uh, these two parties, these two sides of the political divide, uh, you know, uh, are not really giving a solution or a way forward to all these issues that are coming up with regard to that uh, repeat presidential poll. Where do you stand? What do you feel about this political environment that we're in right now? One is, is to say that as church we acknowledge that our, our politicians are, are, have competing interests and uh, they will always be partisan and, and so we do not expect uh, that uh, they, they walk the, the neutral or, 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 or the middle path because each, each group desires to, to win an election and so uh, their partisan interests are, are fronted and, and, and it's, it's, it's at that point that we are coming in and saying uh, we acknowledge uh, you, you, your needs. We acknowledge that you, you desire to win an election. But this, this country is greater. This country is bigger. This country has uh, institutions that have been put in place, and those institutions need support, need uh, collaboration, need, need, uh, they need working together. Uh, so that then we, they are able to uh, be enabled uh, to perform their functions as, as, as they are required uh, by the law. And so the church is, 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 is just asking, yeah, there are issues that have been raised, uh, issues that were raised by the Supreme Court and, and issues that led to the uh, uh, nullification of the results. Uh, those issues to be addressed uh, require a bipartisan approach. Uh, they do not require uh, grandstanding right. and, 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 and hardline positions. Mm -hmm. uh, people must adapt a, a bipartisan approach to be able to resolve those issues. Mm -hmm. If a bipartisan approach is not uh, uh, taken, then uh, politicians might lead us uh, to places where we have not anticipated than right. where we do not desire to go. To, to go. Yeah. And, you know, we've had from the politicians, I mean, we hear from them literally every single day. And we, uh, a few days ago, we were able to hear from the envoys. And, you know, they came out and said that, you know, you cannot uh, bring changes to electoral laws midway, just, you know, a few days actually to an election. And on the other hand, uh, with regard to uh, NASA's demand, they said that, you know, you cannot also give too much pressure and put too much pressure on IEBC right now. Let them be, have the space to, uh, to manage this election. Um, in a way which hopefully will be credible. But what really is the stance of uh, the church with regard to the demands that have been put by NASA and also these reforms that you're now seeing uh, proposed by Jubilee? Uh, NASA has uh, their demands that they have called uh, uh, irreducible minimum, mm -hmm. and, and, and they have put out, I think before they were about nine, I think they increased either to 10 or 11 uh, demands that they were asking the IBC to do. Most of those were administrative things. Mm -hmm. They were not things that required uh, a major changes within the institution. They were basically operational issues uh, 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 that required uh, a bit more transparency and accountability and, 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 and coming from uh, 
where they were in terms of NASA, uh, they must have felt uh, very insecure to go into an election without those things uh, being done. Mm -hmm. But however, that having been said, there are, there are certain demands that NASA put out there that, that require time. Mm -hmm. For instance, removal of a commissioner. Uh, it's, 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 it's a matter that is provided for in law. It, it only has to depend on the goodwill of that particular individual to say, I want to step aside. Mm -hmm. But if that individual is not convinced, uh, then uh, you have to pursue uh, the, uh, uh, the legal procedures that are there. Mm -hmm. And to remove a commission, it's, it, it's, it's a long, long procedure. Mm -hmm. You have to have a petition. It has to go to parliament. Parliament has to find merit in it. If they find merit in it, they have to ask the president to appoint a tribunal. And, and, and it, it, it's, 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 it's a long procedure. Uh, so, so such demands are unrealistic. Mm -hmm. But uh, the ones that are, are basically operational, demands that are required that uh, IBC is more open, mm -hmm. is more transparent, I do think that uh, 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 those IBC is working on them, and, and, and we will assume that uh, IBC has goodwill, they will be able to deal with us. Uh, on the other side, uh, 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 our friends in Jubilee have come up with amendments, mm -hmm. and, 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 and uh, truth be told, some of the amendments are good, mm -hmm. but uh, however, for us as, as church and, and religious leaders, we find that uh, it the amendments have not uh, attracted a bipartisan approach. Mm -hmm. And it's not good to make law uh, for, for the country where a bipartisan approach has not, mm. is, 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 not the, is not in the process. Mm -hmm. uh, making partisan laws and, and making laws for, say, as it were, for your enemy, mm -hmm. it's a very bad thing. Mm -hmm. uh, for us who read the Bible, there's a man called Haman mm -hmm. who, who, who decided to make law, and because he had powers to make law, with the king, uh, he made laws, and, and by the end of the day, those laws ended up uh, hanging uh, Haman instead of hanging uh, mm. uh, the people that Haman had thought about. Right. And so we will ask that uh, since uh, their colleagues in parliament uh, are not inclined to those changes. And it's also too late in the day. Uh, now we are talking 21 days uh, 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 to elections. By the time they enact those, those laws next week, it will be less than a fortnight yes, uh, yes. Uh, to elections. So it, it's, it's, it's a little uh, late uh, from the ruling of uh, the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court did not require amendment right. of the laws. Okay. They only required one amendment, the amendment on duration of petition, petition. presidential petition, which is 14 days. Right. And, but all the others, they said, Please oblige to the law to, to, and, uh, that is existing. To the law yeah, uh, yeah, as uh, is right as now. Is now. Yeah. All right, let's just listen to uh, a, a bite of uh, another religious leader just uh, speaking uh, to, to NASA with regard uh, to this irreducible minimums. Let's listen to that. Belize is a political party. NASA is a coalition. Their mandate is to campaign and seek for votes. It is the constitutional mandate of IBC to run the election. I don't think anybody has any basis and reason to tell Kenyans that we cannot have an election because it's the Kenyans who vote, it's the IBC that manages the election, and if the parties are not happy, they can go to court. I don't think they have the competence to tell us we are not ready for the elections. They are endangering the lives of Kenyans and the future of this nation by profiling concerns that may be legitimate beyond national interests. And uh, to NASA's uh, demands. But I want to come and ask you, Nelson, I mean, f from the church's perspective, what do you think is practical from maybe, you know, drawing from whatever NASA is demanding or what Jubilee, um, you know, is proposing, what do you think as a church is practical in enabling IBC to conduct and have a credible election from the church's perspective? I think for me, what's, uh, what's possible and what can be done now I think the word transparency. If IBC sets out to be transparent in its processes mm -hmm. going into 20, October 26 elections, mm -hmm. we will have elections that are good. Mm -hmm. But if they seek uh, to remain in a, in a closet and, 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 and have some privileged places and information and, 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 and what have you, then they increase suspicion, mm -hmm. they increase the fear that is there amongst uh, uh, NASA followers. And, and, and I think what they need to do is, is, is to open up. Mm -hmm. uh, just open up the process, uh, be open to scrutiny. Uh, we know that they are men, uh, and so we do not demand infallibility. Mm. Uh, we, we, we demand that uh, where mistakes are made, they are genuine mistakes. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and so I think 
it is possible to have an election on the 26th that everybody participates, and IBC can on, only enable that by being more transparent mm. and being more open. If, 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 if they provide that opportunity, then those who have fears, uh, they, they will be dressed down. Mm -hmm. They will not uh, put up uh, the faces that they are putting up and platitudes that they are bringing forth. All right. Do, yeah. do you think yeah. that, that the church's voice is coming a bit maybe late in the day? Uh, because after the Supreme Court ruling, uh, maybe all these issues when they say NASA's began to put across their demands, uh, don't you think that that's maybe the time that you know the church could have come out strongly uh, to either speak against or on with uh, or uh, for these particular changes that they're proposing? This is the only time you have called me. You didn't call me soon <laughs> after that. So no, 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 no. But I mean, so you can't ask that. Uh, but, but surely, uh, uh, looking even last year. We have year, been speaking. Last year, we, I mean, the last year, you have to give it to it. The church yes, really came yes, out strongly yes, yes, yes. Uh, to ensure that, you know, they, they, they brought these two uh, parties together and we had some form of uh, agreements, actually a very strong uh, solid you, agreement let, that came. Uh, but this time round, maybe not, not too late. strong as, not as last year. Let me tell you, the ruling was done on a Friday the 1st. Mm -hmm. On Monday, we had a meeting with the IBC commissioners. Mm -hmm. And, and so we have been consistently meeting. Uh, in fact, uh, maybe two days later, we had a meeting with uh, 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 the Jubilee principals. Mm -hmm. we, so we have been engaged. Mm -hmm. and, and, and when the church is engaged, we do not have to, uh, uh, to come out here. Mm -hmm. and, and because we are not politicians, we are not seeking praises. We are not seeking to be noticed, mm -hmm. but we are seeking to ensure that we have a country that is stable. Mm -hmm. And so we have been uh, talking with IBC almost weekly we have meetings with the IBC commissioners mm -hmm. to, to find out what is it that you are doing. Are there things that are, you would like us as religious leaders mm -hmm. uh, to come by and, 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 uh, mm -hmm. and help you? Mm -hmm. and so really the church has been engaged. Uh, perhaps what you are asking for and what people are, are seeking is, is, is to say where has been the church in terms of uh, helping clean up on the messes that politicians have put up. Mm -hmm. It is not our responsibility to clean up mm -hmm. where Raila has messed up and where uh, Uhuru Kenyatta uh, mm -hmm. uh, has messed up. Mm -hmm. if, if they go out there and make utterances that are, are offensive, it is not our responsibility. Mm -hmm. It's the responsibility of the DPP, the responsibility of the institutions of government mm -hmm. to sort out those issues. But as far as these elections and these repeat elections are concerned, the church and religious leaders are hugely, heavily engaged. Mm -hmm. I have left a meeting mm -hmm. discussing this matter mm -hmm. uh, to, uh, to come to studio mm -hmm. just now. In fact, right now we are contemplating to post 82,000 mm -hmm. monitors to religious leaders per polling station mm -hmm. just to be able to ensure that we, we observe and we observe the entire process. And we are even seeking to request the IBC to allow us, if it's possible, that our observers actually sign on the forms, mm. uh, if, if it's from 34A, right. that we have a signature mm. space for a religious leader. Mm. So that then we, we try to provide the cushion that uh, is required uh, with the results uh, uh, that will come up on the 26th. Right. So we have been engaged, so and we are seeking to engage positively. Even, even further. Yes, I just yes, want to introduce yes, uh, a yeah, graphics yeah. of uh, a column that was written yesterday, uh, still uh, to do uh, with the church. Let's just uh, have that up, and then we continue with our conversation. All right, so there you go. So this is uh, Timothy Basiri saying that Kenya is at the juncture where the head of the family needs to be confronted and cancelled back to order. Kenya is at the juncture uh, that, uh, where the head of the family needs to be confronted and cancelled back to order. It, all, it also goes on to say the country is politically sick and needs effective moral interventions to recover, but players, notably religious leaders, have chosen to give it lip service. <laughs> what do you think of uh, those sentiments? Sorry, so there's the last uh, uh, statement Our there. President. Our president could just be crossing the red line and if not urgently guided back to order, he could plunge the country into a major crisis that may be hard to mitigate. So that is uh, Timothy Basiri. There are very strong words that, you know, he's... Uh, put across uh, to do with the church and, of course, the kind of uh, environment that we're in right now. Uh, let me hear your, your thoughts, Dr. Arya, about this particular uh, statement that was made. One is that I'd like to, uh, it, it would be better for me to make a comment after I have read the entire document mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. uh, 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 that uh, 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 Timothy has uh, been uh, uh, articulating mm -hmm. because he has, uh, he, he has thoughts that I are flowing through. But just from the caption that I see there, yeah. Uh, uh, he seems to be uh, pointing at the president and, and indicting uh, uh, the president. I do not understand which red line uh, mm -hmm. the president has crossed. Mm -hmm. uh, but as it were, 
for us as religious leaders, uh, uh, we speak both to the president, we speak uh, to the opposition mm. leaders, we speak to the entire society, and, and, and we seek uh, 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 to have our pastoral, pastoral responsibility right. exercised mm -hmm. over this country. Mm -hmm. we, we would like to have a country where people respect each other, where people respect the rule of mm -hmm. law. We like to have a country where people stand for the truth mm -hmm. and, and, and where people can come out openly and say, here I am wrong, mm -hmm. uh, forgive me, I have, uh, I've done something that is wrong. And, mm -hmm. and, and That's an ideal situation, but are we yes, to see that really happening? It's, it's, it's not possible to, to have it. Mm -hmm. But in a sense, where, where there is rule of law, then we will appreciate that people will say, since... Uh, I, I respect the law, and if I cross this red line, mm -hmm. then it means that the law will come after me. So, right. so people can be able to be self-governed. Mm -hmm. uh, and so the president or the opposition leaders will not require uh, a, a, a leash mm. from our religious leaders to be able to walk the narrow path. Because they know the law, they understand the law, mm -hmm. and, 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 and the, the instruments of law should be able to take their natural course mm. where people are crossing red lines. All right. But however, there are some things that are not governed by law. Uh, the, 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 there are things that are governed by just good sense. Mm. And, and you assume that people who are seeking to lead a country like Kenya, they are big enough to adopt that which is a, a good sense. Mm. And, 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 and you can only ask of them uh, to, to pursue that line. All right. The thoughts, yeah. that, yeah. The thoughts yeah. that he made uh, with regard to the church that uh, the religious leaders are just offering lip service. Um, do you think that, uh, you know, the pressure that is coming from uh, people on the church is because after the politicians, like you mentioned, people look up to the church to offer direction? Politicians are not clergy. Mm. So I cannot defrock them. Mm -hmm. So you cannot, uh, what can religious leaders do mm -hmm. if, if a politician goes beyond outside boundaries? Mm -hmm. uh, we can only speak and issue a statement. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that's how far we can mm -hmm. go. We can only condemn mm -hmm. an action. We cannot prosecute. Uh, we can't prosecute. Right. We, can't, we can't say this is a, a pastor of my church, mm -hmm. so let me defrock him. Mm -hmm. He will not uh, continue to give Holy Communion and give summons. Politicians have a different laws that govern them. Mm -hmm. It's those laws and those that supervise those mm -hmm. laws. The Registrar of Political Parties, mm -hmm. the DPP, uh, we have uh, uh, the judiciary mm -hmm. and the police, we have uh, NCIC and, and instruments uh, of, of state mm -hmm. that are responsible. They are the ones that we can demand of some of the things that Bosira may be demanding mm -hmm. of our religious leaders. Mm -hmm. Religious leaders can only speak, mm -hmm. can only express their desire, and, and, and we hope that people will be responsible enough to say, this is a good voice. Let me listen to that good Let voice. Let me listen. If, if, if they don't listen, then uh, 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 I mean, uh, every action has a, mm. uh, as it were, when somebody said, uh, uh, choices have consequences. Mm -hmm. All right, choices have consequences. Your wrapping thoughts, really, um, about you know, this whole political uh, situation. What would you want to see moving forward? Also considering that it's just not ha enough to tell politicians, you know, let go of your grandstanding and this headline stance that you have, what do you think is, uh, is the ideal and practical so solution moving forward with just 21 days really to an election? It's difficult to get what is ideal, mm. but I think we can get a middle ground. Mm. A middle ground is to say what is doable within the 21 days mm -hmm. to the elections. Mm -hmm. And both parties sit around the table and agree that within the 21 days, these are the things that can be done. Uh, we do not want al we don't. We don't want, uh, uh, sorry, they, they are calling somebody Morpho, uh, uh, whoever Morpho, to, yeah. uh, to participate. But since we have these 21 days to carry out an election, mm -hmm. these are the things that we would like to be done for their participations to happen. Mm -hmm. So that then we, pro we, we contemplate what is possible, right. not what is not possible. Mm -hmm. Because if we go into that arena of what is not possible, mm -hmm. then we get to the arena whereby we are having 26th arriving, mm -hmm. we are not ready for elections, or some people are not participating mm -hmm. in an election, mm -hmm. we have a, a heavy acrimony, and, and, and you can only fear what will happen after 26th right. if an election that uh, is not freely accepted mm -hmm. takes place okay. or does not take place. Not take so place. We, will, right. we will really urge that, that, that Kenyans and the politicians mm. and IBC accept a bipartisan approach mm. in dealing with issues that are being discussed. If they do not adopt that approach, then we fear for this country, All right. as it were. Thank, Thank you, you very much, yeah. uh, Dr. Nelson Makanda, the Deputy General Secretary of uh, NCCK. Thank you for your time. Thank you yeah, yeah. Okay. Blessings to you. Thank you very much. All right. So we.